All right, we're on to, to some pretty momentous stuff, and what we're going to watch here is the edict, and we've uh, gone to great lengths to wire this in in a very stock sense using a relay, and uh, with this flick of a key, you'll see here that the e edict is now working, and uh, that sets that sets basically there are two different settings or three different settings I think. Right there is a uh, tell me Mo, what's going on, what we're seeing there. Right there is the run position. That's crank and start. That's off. So those are three positions that you find to run the uh, edict, which is back there, which is the solenoid in back, and that rod comes up and then um, helps to run this injector pump, which is kind of over here. The injector pump has the number 32 on it. You can barely see it there. So um, the wiring has worked. It's very successful. Uh, it runs smoothly. And the other thing that we're noting is that when we turn it on, you can slightly hear the pump work. And that's the pump down there that we've mounted. And that pump runs the cooling system, the exclusive cooling system, to the intercooler. And it runs all the time. So um, when the ignition's on, that will run. And we've set it up that way from a safety standpoint, so that way uh, it'll always cool the uh, turbocharger, which is pretty paramount, and you want that to occur. Right now the fan is not going on, mainly because we're not at the temperature yet. No boost. There's no boost, so... This fan operates off boost, that fan operates off temperature. Oh, okay. Yep, so this one... So when the boost comes up, yep. when he's stepping into the pedal and the boost on the turbo comes in, it turns that fan on and cools this fluid down. Okay. So, again, many systems here that we're uh, just checking, and right now everything seems to be checking out just fine, so we're, we're pretty psyched about that. 